What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're not doing anything track related, we're just pretty much going to be perfecting the 335 IS, the 335 IS needs a lot of little details that I've been working behind the scenes, but I was like, you know what, I'm just going to show you guys every little detail that I've been working out throughout the entire week. Rebuilding a car, guys, gets very, very, very expensive really, really, really fast if you guys care about details like I do. I care about every little detail on a salvage car, that's why all the ones I sell are pretty much zero lights on the dash. Everything's working the proper way it's supposed to be. I mean, basically, there's some things that I can kind of finesse, but I just go order the, the original parts anyways because I like my builds complete, OEM. So long story short, yeah, this video is a lot of perfecting little details as well. I've been doing this stuff throughout the entire week, and that's why I actually upload yesterday so that I get some more parts to perfect this thing. And then actually, I was working on my tire fitments, got some new tires. If you guys like update videos like this where I pretty much show you guys all the little details on a build, make sure to smash that like button so you guys can let me know down below if you guys don't like these kind of videos and just like the major things like major mods major panels and all the little things behind the scenes or just i make them off video let me know down below but i figured a lot of you guys want to see the things that go down in a build the entire build because all these little things people don't really account for and that's how the cost adds up real quick unless you buy a car that's finesse and then you end up refinessing it and you probably shouldn't but i mean people do that and uh, i don't like to do that you guys saw with the seven series i didn't want to refinesse a car the guy that's sold me the car finesse it to me and I tried perfecting it I think it's been over thirteen thousand dollars and I sold it for five because uh Ripper Runu that was the, that was the biggest regret of my life but anywho this car so far so good I'm loving everything so the first place we ended up taking the car is my boy Erlon's place that knocking sound turned out to be just a pulley on my power steering pump so we went down to Erlon's place so he can help me install the power steering pump when I mean help I mean he basically did the job <laughs> so shout out to Erlon his channel is gonna be linked down below so show him some love guys but yeah I pretty much upgraded my pulley to an aluminum one instead of that plastic one because that plastic one if it goes bad again it's gonna start knocking and we don't want that the car only has 57,000 miles and you guys can see that anything can happen even on low mileage cars and uh, I just wanted that to be bulletproof so you wanted the aluminum one we got new hardware so uh yeah should we get to go on that but yeah this is fast forwarding to yesterday when my boy Erlon was fixing the beast It is pouring like crazy. Today was a really rough morning, and I pretty much had to get down here. I forgot the keys for the E36 M3. I actually finally got the wrap for the E36 M3. Yes, the wrap. And uh, I was supposed to be wrapping the car today, but I forgot the keys in my other house. And that's the thing that I hate about moving back and forth, back and forth. But it is what it is. You got to work with what you have. God bless you. I have a roof over my head. So it is what it is. But yes, we finally got some new tires. And I think I got this balance. I don't know. The guy was like super sketch. I don't know if I, I, I was panning the camera around. And uh, not super sketch, but he was using like a metal pry tool on these wheels. And I just, I wasn't feeling it, to be honest. I did check if there's any uh, curbs on either wheel, but... Honestly, it looked pretty good. So I'm pretty happy. Thankfully, it didn't curb any of the wheels. We did get two Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires on these guys right here for the rears. The fronts are P0s. Um, the rears were P0s as well, but one of them were punctured and they were run flat. And one tire was sitting back at three to $400. So I decided to go with two used Michelin tires. Cost me about $200 for both of them. I think it's a pretty good deal. And I love Michelin's honestly more. I've always been a Michelin guy. So instead of spending $300 for one tire, I got two tires for $200. And uh, I got to keep my extra P0 tire just in case I end up getting another one down the road for another car or whatever. And I, you know, I, you know, you made it's all about them good deal. So as the thumbnail and title suggests, guys, I'm going to be trying to perfect the fit 
fitment. I'm gonna try to achieve the best fitment possible. And as you guys can see right now, it is super tucked. This isn't how I'm gonna rock my car. I do want it to be kind of leveled. I want the tire to be pretty much flush with the quarter panel. That is my goal for this car. As for the fronts as well, that is the goal. So we finally got the tires mounted. I do need a new center cap right there on that rim. Uh, that one has it, but uh, any heasels. It actually does look like they actually put some of those balance things on there. So uh, I think they actually did balance it properly. <laughs> any heels, guys. I finally wanted to show you guys the wheel spacers. I told you guys I ordered wheel spacers um, for this car, but uh, I didn't want to put them on until we got, finally got the tires and everything situated um, because that one um, had a really bad punctured tire and I didn't want to actually test out the fitment with that at all. I don't want to drive on a punctured tire, but I couldn't afford spending about 300 or 350 on one tire. So I was like, you know what? Finally found a good deal on some Michelins. We're gonna be slapping those on. And we're finally gonna be putting on these spaces. And again, the goal is to achieve an aggressive and perfect fitment against that. that I've always been the kind of guy that likes my quarter panel flush with the rim. I don't really care if the wheel is tucked in. Honestly, to me, this just looks not so good to be honest and I just really hope I can achieve that with these coilovers and with these spacers and with these tires I don't really know much about wheel fitments and stuff But I'm just hoping since we do have adjustable coilovers it should be able to achieve what I want to achieve So without further ado, let me go ahead and set you guys down and uh, let's do this Moment of truth, did I adjust this properly? I guess we'll find out. So this right here, guys, is almost perfect. It's just, I don't know if it's pushed in or not. Um, I really don't know. I think I'm gonna go ahead and drive the car out, drive it inside, see if it rubs at all. And if it doesn't rub, we're gonna do the exact same side to the other side. This looks super good. Um, something that I don't like about the E90 chassis is that I'm noticing the wheels are slightly in more. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like, it's not flush like straight this way. Let me know, is there an actual problem with the suspension? Because I did get an alignment and uh, both wheels are the exact same way. I don't know if that's just how the E chassis are. So my brother's car is in a little, but not as bad as mine. So, uh, hmm. Let's go ahead and back out the car and see if it's rubbed it all. So unfortunately, it is still rubbing. So go ahead and get the car back up, and I'm gonna try to clear the entire tire, which means we need to go up like this much more. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Ooh, guys, I just adjusted that. <laughs> that is the perfect fitment. Look at the Michelin tires, guys. That is the perfect fitment I was aiming for. So this is pretty much topping out the coilover. This is as low as the car can get. Um, I mean, this is as high as the car can get on coilovers, but literally the fitment, guys, is exactly what I wanted and it clears all the way. Actually, the fitment's even better in the car too. I don't know what happened, but I guess it was maybe pushed against the, the wheel well or something and it was angling it, but it looks so much better, guys. And this is with the BMS wheel spacer. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I wish I actually went with the 20 millimeter or the 18 millimeter. I went with the 15 to play it safe. I know the 10 is gonna be an aggressive front, um, but the rear, I probably should went with an 18 or a 20. I'm okay with that though. This actually looks really, really, really good. Finally got some Michelins back here as well. Oh, buddy, we're gonna have to work on the fronts as well. I think the fronts, honestly, we might just get away. We might just get away, honestly, with just some spacers. We don't even have to do any other adjustments. But yeah, this side, oh, buddy, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and work on the other side, guys. Guys, that is what I'm talking about. I'm so, so, so happy. So we also put in the center cap from the other wheel. This is the older style center cap. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this little gray thing around it is the older style. These are like the chrome style. It's like the newer style. So I will have to try to get two more. Actually, this one's kind of rough shape too. So I'm probably gonna try to get a full set of these center caps. But anywho, um, the fronts, they might need to get raised up just a little bit because I think with the spacer, um, it's gonna have a huge rubbing issue. So let's go ahead and jack up the fronts as well. Um, try to just adjust it a little more and at the same time, time put on a spacer and have this front end look as good as the rear end guys oh my god just take a look at it. that looks amazing guys so stoked that we finally have matching wheels you have michelin's in the front p0 i mean p0 is in the front michelin's in the rear man this car is really getting taken care of
Moment of truth, guys. Is it too low? Please, 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 please. Oh, actually, <laughs> this is what that 10 millimeter spacer, guys. I think this is perfect. Yes, that is what I'm talking about, guys. For the most part, you guys can see the tire entirely, which means I think we should be good there. So like I said earlier in the video, guys, I am a perfectionist and one of the cup holders was not working. I mean, honestly, I, it, I don't have to have it work. I can just have it pulled out and I can use it like that, but I wanted to function like it originally did. So I got a new cup holder. Um, we went ahead and installed that. And thankfully, um, this was a used cup holder. I got it for literally like five bucks. That went in pretty easy. Um, I actually got finally that brake light. So we just now installed that brake light, installed the cover. So now the whole roof is done. Um, and then of course, finding some other little details on the car. We found the wheel liner. Um, so I got that actually from Showman Motors. So Showman, um, he has an E92 parts car and he had one of those because people were charging like 50 to $100 for that. And I can't really justify spending that much on a wheel liner, but thankfully he had one of those. So I went to go pick it off his car, put it on our car. Everything was gravy in the Navy. But yeah, guys, it is looking so, so, so good. Finally, the full wheel liner is in the car. The next thing, honestly, I wanted to knock out uh, was the uh, window trim. So we have the window trim that goes around the entire window. I actually got this OEM, uh, I believe from FCP Euro. I'm not sure exactly. I don't forgot where I got this part from, but it's an OEM part, not from BMW. I actually ordered it through another um, company. And uh, yeah, basically that came in. We we're actually gonna be replacing the windshield wipers as well. Windshield wipers are not working. Our window trim has gone bad and our washer fluid system is off. So like literally our whole water sealant water everything is just bad so uh yeah removing this honestly guys was just tedious but it wasn't hard honestly i thought it is like a super pain job to do honestly i got everything out of it and probably i would say about 45 minutes cleaning it up detailing it all um vacuuming it all out it, it did take some time guys and it's not and a job like this don't expect it's going to take you you know probably like 10 15 minutes it'll take about an hour hour and a half for your first time especially like me and i think honestly it'll take about an hour for the average person to get it done anyways um uh, but yeah, finally got our new gasket. We're gonna be slapping this thing on. I, I'm so, so, so stoked because that was one of those things that made the car look um, just kind of like, just kind of trashy. Like I don't like a, a window gasket just chipped and broken all around. It just makes the car look neglected. So this looks like a brand new seal, which it is a brand new seal, of course. And it just looks so, so, so good. And it's actually very easy to install, actually. I mean, I thought it was gonna be difficult to put it in there, tuck it all, but it is engineered in, in an amazing way that honestly, it was super easy to install. And um, yeah, there was some 3M on the side to make sure that thing adheres properly. Um, I didn't actually use any heat, but it stuck really, really, really good. So I guess that's OEM stuff for you. But yeah, finally starting to put it in the windshield washer fluid. That is the last thing that I wanted to knock out in terms of the lights on the dash other than the airbag light, but then it made an entire spill underneath the tank. So went again in there to remove the wheel liner again and for those of you guys who've ever removed wheel liners again it's just a very tedious job a lot of tedious things when you're working on details and stuff and i found out that the hose was cracked so um yeah we went ahead and took out that hose entirely i did some research on how much this hose would cost me it's about 40 dollars, 40 50 dollars but i know pick pool sells this thing for like five bucks so you know what your boy had to do i went ahead and lowered the car buttoned it back up and uh, headed over to i pull you pull once i got there guys i found an e90 lci n54 at pick and pull i did have a burnt motor but it had a lot of good parts on it and it was an lci like if someone actually wanted this hood it's a perfectly good hood all the hood latches and everything are good on it uh, but anywho i just grabbed uh, that hose thing that i needed and then we reinstalled it into the car um so that was the main thing i got it for, ended up for like for four dollars so that was a score definitely worth the time I ended up putting some new washer fluids in there to see if we have any issues and unfortunately um we actually did find a leak somewhere else uh but anyway we'll get into that probably in a future video as of now we are putting on our windshield wipers it is looking so 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 good so we finally have functioning wipers functioning seals now we just need a functional tank and then we're graving the navy and that brings us to the end of the video yes there is so many little things that takes to build rebuild a project if you guys buy a rebuilt project or you guys are rebuilding a project just know that from the outside it may just look like it needs a fender a bumper and a hood but underneath it is where all the damaged stuff is like little brackets 
horns for example the, the the washer system so many little things the wheel guards all of these little things can break and you don't really account for them money wise you just think oh it just needs a bumper and a hood uh, maybe a radiator support but all the other stuff that's underneath adds up real quick but anywho guys that does include the video if you guys want me to do the e36 wrap reveal in the next video make sure to smash the like button we're gonna be wrapping the e36 m3 in the next video if you guys are excited for that make sure to smash the like button comment down below what color you guys think it is but without further ado guys i love you all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you on the next one peace out